Hey, what's up, guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. In the last episode, we finally got ourselves one of those diamond feral pigs. We finally got some revenge on the troll that we got quite a few weeks ago. And don't mind these pigs. I'm not going to worry about them. Even though I kind of do want to shoot them, I'm more worried about the Seeker Deer because that's that's the new uh, the new goal. That's a new mission. And we're going to be going for a diamond Seeker Deer. I got the feral pig I wanted. And now the next diamond that I really, really want on this map is a Seeker Deer. We'll hit him twice. Weren't the best shots. He's just like a level two or something. Don't really care, but he should go down for sure. Like I was saying, once I get myself a diamond secret ear, then I definitely want to start going for a diamond feral goat because that's that's the next one that I really want. I don't really care for the red deer. I've already killed a bunch of diamonds on other maps. Uh, I don't really care for the chamois either. I'm not huge on those. I don't really, eh, they're, they're cool and all, but I don't really care for the way they look that much. And um, I think that's really it for like new species. <clears throat> and to be honest with you guys, I've actually been enjoying Call of the Wild quite a bit lately. So that's good to hear from me. Normally I'm kind of bitching about the game and stuff, but I've actually been having a lot of fun here on Terrorwire. The more I've, the more I've played it and the more I've explored the map and hunted different animals, it's pretty enjoyable. It's not a bad map at all. I don't mind it. So you console players definitely have something pretty decent to look forward to. Forward to, if I can speak. But I see another one over here. Ooh, there's two males actually. Hold on. We got a pretty decent hit on him. He's about to die. There's another one. Oh, shot too far in front of him. That's okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I shot the tree there that time. I'm just going to let him go. We'll get him another time. Ooh, good news, good news, good news. We have a level four right here in front of us. I'm not going to be able to get a shot on him, I don't think. Yeah, we will. That was a pretty solid shot there. There is some more. Oh, there's another. We hit him. That was kind of a bad shot. I hate this scope sometimes. I think we put another another one into him there he'll go down a little bit faster i won't show you guys me chasing after that thing claiming him because it's boring who cares but this level four though is pretty interesting i literally just spawned here at this little outpost and was going to run down here and check for any new drink zones because i actually haven't really been here yet at this lake so check this guy out 189.50 that's actually not a bad one i think that is now my new personal record for a sick deer and he looks pretty dang good pretty dang solid i'm gonna run around the edges of this lake here and see if i can find any more just drinking around not bad not bad start you can't see him because he's kind of behind the the tree there i'm gonna try and move down here a little bit and see if i can get a better angle on him but it is another level four and those are what we want mainly i mean the level threes are nice to kill too but the level fours are definitely even better Ooh, they're both like right on top of each other he's on like just the other side so if we are fast enough we might be able to get both of them i think i'm just gonna go for that shot once he puts his head back up All right, I know we dropped that level three pretty dang fast. I'm not too sure about the level four. It looks like we did. That looks like pretty bright pink. So let's run around there and check it out. I want to ask you guys, to any of you that actually live over in New Zealand or have ever been there, does it rain a lot over there? Because that's one thing I've noticed about this map. It rains so much. It's insane. All right, it looks like we've got both of them down pretty quickly. Here is, I think, the level three. Yep, a gold, so not bad. I do like that a lot of the level threes do end up scoring gold. So it does make me think that if you do get lucky, you can find a level four. And we actually did manage to get this level four as well. We slid that right there into a single lung. And he's a 168.20. Got all four checks. Boom. That worked out perfectly. I'm happy with that. Well, it's my lucky day for level fours. Dropped him. And I think there was a level two and a level three there that just ran off. You've probably seen his antler go over the hill there. For like a split second i'm pretty happy about this the level fours are uh, finally showing up if you didn't watch my video of hunting for the diamond feral pig or we weren't even hunting for it we just randomly found it but in that video when i was hunting mainly sick of deer i couldn't find a level four to save my life and now we're finding them like crazy so i cannot complain about that i think i say that a lot too I, i'm sorry if i say certain things a lot <laughs> i really need to like get better at being a youtuber I'm, I'm, no i'm kidding i'm not that bad i need to improve though don't, don't get me wrong I do want to improve on a lot of things. But anyways, 163.90, another level four down. And that is good. So I found some more Sika deer. We got some level three, or no, level three, level one females here. A level two. And then across the way, we actually have a level two there. And then where the heck was he? He was like right here somewhere standing. There he is. A level four. We definitely want him. 
I feel like I could shoot those ones and it probably wouldn't spook this guy, but I don't really care. We're going to get this guy first. And of course he moves now, but that's okay. Let's get a range real quick before I just go blast it away. He is 276. Well, zero for 300. Wait until he puts his head back up here in just a second. There we go. And we dropped him in his tracks and those ones are gone. Just like that. Turn my head for a second and they are just disappeared. I'm also going to show you guys this quick clip that I got from the other day ago when me and TSG were hunting around for the great one on his stream. I managed to come across a level 3 whitetail, and uh, yeah, this is how that went. This is when I wish I had a bow. Oh, there they are. Look them. There's another zone right there behind this one to the south. He's got to be around here somewhere. One of these zones. Estimate is 225 to 266. He's 75 yards from me. Give him the M1 Garand treatment. Yeah, don't let me know what he is. What? Don't let me... Oh god, did I hit the fucking stick? No. Did I seriously just hit the bush? I think I hit the bush. Yeah, I, 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 I hit the, I hit the stick. I had a feeling that was gonna happen because he was like right behind a, a tree. I was like, maybe I can slide this in here. It really wasn't that hard of a shot. I know where he feeds now. So, it's, it's completely fine. Oh my god, they're coming back. He's like about to walk right up on top of me. I think. There's a level two. Oh, there he is. He's right next to me. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like four feet from me. Yep. Deafen or whatever, or whatever you call. I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn really quick. Come on. Give me a little bit better angle. I don't want to end up missing the lung. He'll turn. Be a little more patient. He is done. He is done, ladies and gents. Level 3 Whitetail on TSG's multiplayer map while we're in the middle of hunting for the Great One. If you were watching him on his Twitch stream, then you got to like hear all the, the shenanigans happen. But let's see if this guy is a troll or not, and he's a diamond. We're going to go ahead and <laughs> taxidermize him. He's not a very big diamond. I think this is probably one of my smaller ones. This is why I was kind of hesitant and thinking that this guy was going to be a diamond, because when I first initially saw him, I don't think I really got that on recording. I might have, though. Uh, this beam here and a lot of these other points, they don't have a lot of mass to them. So I wasn't really like high on the hopes of him actually scoring a diamond. But there we go. Cannot complain about that at all. So I thought that was pretty cool. Just a little guy, but it is another diamond added to the list and another diamond uh, added to the diamond and rare montage. That should be coming out sometime in February. I know I've had quite a few questions lately saying when is a new Diamond Rare montage going to be out. Hopefully sometime in February I'll have it out maybe the first week or the middle of it. I don't know. All right, let's grab this guy. 162, another gold level four. And we actually made a beautiful shot there. You can't get much better than that. A frontal shot with a heart shot and double lung. He is not going anywhere after that. 267 meters with the good old M1 Garand. I love this thing. I definitely prefer this over the 303 now that I've been using this a lot more. It's just, you can get a lot more of these things down a lot quicker rather than having to sit there and shoot and then bolt it. You know, this thing, you can just blast them all day. Semi-automatic is the way to go. Unfortunately, we don't have any real big nice guys over here this time. In the last video, this is actually where I killed that one level four. And unfortunately, he did not respawn as something nicer. He's, he was, responded as a level three, which is kind of depressing, but that's cool. That's He's going to be the last kill of this video. We've ran around. I'll show you what I did today. So I started out up here. I seen a couple females, let them be, and then I fast traveled back here. And then I ran this way, and then I just ran down the shoreline during their drink time. If you want to know what it is, it's 830 to 12, and some of them say 9 to 12. Ran down this shoreline, teleported here, killed some there, checked out this little like sandbar type deal. And then I went to these little lakes here, and then it, now I'm running, I ran around this little shoreline here on the coast. It's a pretty good little route. I'm thinking about doing a feral pig guide and also a sick deer guide once I eventually like hunt them a little more and figure out exactly how they function. So stay tuned for those. You can see my latest harvest here. These are all pretty decent sick deer. Most of them are level fours. So that's a pretty solid little list there. I could have killed way more but obviously i'm mainly focusing on the big guys but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already it helps me out a bunch i appreciate every single one of you thanks so much for watching stay tuned for more and i will see you all in the next one but hold on i'm gonna shoot this guy really quick go claim him i won't show you guys that because that's the end of the video thanks for watching later